and welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we are going to take a look at the Eashin E-130. This is a helicopter design exactly for beginners. Do you know any beginners who fly helicopters? Well, you're looking at one now. The only time I ever flew helicopters was in the last video I made all about flying helicopters. I wanted to keep on practicing since that video, and I just don't have the time. I'm so freaking busy. But I'm out here today with the Eashin E-130, so we're going to see how this goes. And I want you to know I'm a beginner, so if I can fly this, you can fly this, no problem. Now the great thing is, it is it's 100% designed for beginners. It is not like one of those helicopters that when you pull down on the throttle, it drives itself into the ground. No, it's pretty smooth. It has altitude hold, which means when you take off, it sits right where you leave it. It has a hover uh, stability six axis gyro built in. So if it's not windy, unfortunately it's windy right now, but if it's not windy, it will just sit, sit right where you leave it. And uh, it won't even move left to right or front to back. It will just sit there. It's so perfect. Now I tried this in my house and it works out perfect. I tried it in my backyard last night when there was no wind and it works out perfect. So I'm gonna try it out here today. So let's go uh, take it for a spin. Now what you see in front of you is the included controller. So this here helicopter comes with a controller. It's ready to fly out of the box. And this here controller is 100% designed for beginners. If you look closely, you'll notice the two joysticks, if I get it in the light they sit in the center so normally on a helicopter you need the joystick on the left if it's a mode 2 you need it to fall to the bottom and stay there but since this is for beginners it sits in the center because once again this here helicopter has altitude hold the other great thing about this here controller is that if you are someone who wants the throttle on the left it comes that way if you want the throttle on the right you just press two buttons and the throttle is on the right so it's perfect for anybody out there now the last cool thing to point out is that my helicopter E-130 came with three batteries and they're two S batteries at 700 milliamp hours. They're very, very big and heavy, yet this baby can lift it. And not only that, for the price of three batteries, the helicopter and the controller, I was still around the $70 mark. Yep, this thing is pretty amazing. All right, to get this going, just flip it upside down, take your battery and you're gonna shove it in the bottom. All right, so let's slide our battery in here and then just connect your battery plug it in and then flip over your helicopter and it's pretty much ready to fly. Now if it was nighttime here or dark you would see some lights flashing in the front. Next we're going to turn on our remote. There we go and then take your left joystick and move it up and down and they are connected now. Now in order for this helicopter to know it's level it has to be on a level surface before you take off so I have it on the bed of my Jeep and then when you do that you have to do a gyro calibration take these two joysticks and pull them down to the left like that you get a beep. Mm, we're pretty much all set to go. So if you want to take off automatically you hit this top button the motors will start and it will fly up and if you want to land you hit this button but it's really windy out here and this is not designed to fly in the wind so I'll do it manually I'll pull out this way and when I take off, I have my Jeep here blocking some of the wind. I've got to be careful it doesn't go with the wind into the Jeep or anything. So here we go. So with a helicopter like this and wind, you have to be very mindful of flying it. Like I'm an extreme beginner. I'm getting it nice and close to me here, but I tell you this thing here, if a big gust of wind comes again, it wants to go. It is designed for no wind at the park. All right, change of plans. The last location I was flying was much too windy. So I'm in my backyard, my house, and the other house over here sort of blocks the wind. So hopefully this should work a lot better. Here we go, less wind. Should fly much better. There we go. See, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to just hover like that. That is exactly what it is supposed to do. Let me just take it up a bit. It's a little bit of wind back here, but not too much. But uh, there we go, so I, could, I should be able to walk around it. Yep, I can look right around it, no problem. So let me tell you a little bit about it. The batteries that are included will make this run for 15 minutes of flight time. That is incredible. Now, if anybody buys this and there's no wind and they can't fly it, then uh, there's something wrong with you. Like I'm moving it over to the side. I'm flying with one hand, as you can see here. I've got the right joystick so I can go forward. I can go to the right, I can go to the left, I can go to the rear. I'm not even using the left joystick, which is my height joystick, you know, you want to go up or down. Throttle remains constant, so it will never fly uh, crazy fast on you or anything like that. But look at this, I'm so close to it, and uh, yeah, it's just so simple to fly. I tell you, if, 
everybody had a helicopter like this and you practice on it, you could get really good to fly much more expensive and helicopters with a collective pitch that cause it to do a few other cool things. And like I said, it flies for 15 minutes, so I could just sit out here for the longest time flying around my backyard. Now I want to show you the land function on here. It's pretty cool. You can land it yourself, but I like the little land button. So I'm going to bring it over this way. I'll bring it close to the GoPro and the other camera over here. And uh, watch this. I'll just hit this button here and we'll land it. Ready? Here we go. Hit the button and not doing anything. And there she comes down and lands. Now there is a one button takeoff right here. Press that. It will spin and go on up and I'm not doing anything. It just uh, flies around with the wind. Then I just grab the right joystick and I can control it nicely. Now a few other things to show you on here. You do have settings. Let me just bring it down. Now I'm flying it with two hands. So you can do cool little things. It does have a pretty good yaw speed. So watch this. Spin it around if you want to do 360s. Or if I want to fly it around the backyard. Going this way. And then spin it around come back to me. It's very beginner-ish so it's easy to fly. If you ever lose orientation, just bring the tail back towards you and uh, life is good. Now, it does have two speeds, so as you get better on speed one, you have a button here, hit this, two beeps. Now I'm in a faster speed, so I can spin faster. See that? Spin it faster. And it's just in case you have a bit of wind. So if I had a bit of wind back here, then I use the second speed and once again, just take it off, fly it. It flies much faster because it just has more of a nose tilt to it. So here we go, I'll bring it back to me. There we go. So you got some good speed flying around the backyard here. But once again, check out my backyard. It's pretty small and uh, I'm flying this thing with no issues and I'm going close to everything. It's because when I hit the joysticks on here and just release them, it, it just stays in that uh, position and mode. So it flies almost like a drone, if you want to say in many respects. I'll put it back in slow mode. There we go. Now, if you're a camera drone guy, uh, you could probably put a, a camera on the bottom of this. Here, let me try it. I'm going to put a little Insta360 Go on the bottom and we'll see what kind of video we get. So for the flight, when I was out in the park in the wind and the flight of my backyard here, I've been using the same battery. So it's 15 minutes flight time on this. There's still plenty of power left, but I'm going to change the battery and put an Insta360 camera on the bottom and see what type of footage I get. Let's check this out. Put the camera on the bottom of the helicopter. I'm going to put double-sided tape. So just snip a piece off and I'll put the camera right here. I don't know what type of footage I get, but uh, it should look pretty interesting. So there we go. So now with double-sided tape, the Insta360 Go is on the bottom and they should be able to lift it easily. All right, here we go. Let's see what it looks like with the camera on the bottom. There we go. It's lifting an Insta360 and we should have an image in the front. So I'll let it go behind me and I should be in the picture. There we go. <gasps> How does that look? Let's bring it down a bit just so it sees me. There we go, so it lifts the camera no problem. You could probably put any type of small camera on this. Don't want to go too high because the wind's up there, but uh, there we are. There we are. That's a way up there. Bring it down. It's actually quite stable. Quite stable. More stable than I thought. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is uh, basically what comes in the box. So uh, check this out and you'll see what comes in the box. And now a super quick, super fast, super fantastic Captain Drone unboxing. Well, this is a box and inside that box is your E-130 helicopter. It's pretty snappy looking. It looks like all the pro helicopters. It does have a battery JST connector in case you want to buy extra batteries. Parts are replaceable and some of the parts you're seeing here, you get extra in the box. 
With the canopy off, you can see the inner workings and there's not a lot to break, so it's pretty durable. I will say it does have brush motors. That's to keep the price down, but they work quite fine. And speaking of price, for under $100, you can get a version with three batteries, even four batteries. Included as well is a very easy, very simple to use controller. A USB battery charger is included as well as spare blades and spare components, the most common ones, your tail prop and your gearing system that you can replace yourself with these tools. An easy to read manual is included and the weight is only, check this out, 96 grams and with the battery you're at 130 grams. I could see this flying and I could see the camera just vibrate underneath so yeah there's gonna be a lot of jello in the image with the camera. You'd have to put something underneath to stop the jello like a little bit more vibration dampening. I have like zero on it. So that doesn't work out well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm still flying it here with one hand, is I'm gonna put links below to where you can find this. And let me tell you right now, if you get it with one battery, two batteries, three batteries, or four batteries, <laughs> did I go five? Four batteries, uh, it's gonna cost you under $100 US. This is awesome for what you get. The controller, the batteries, everything. So links are below. Go check it out. I think this is really good. I think this, this is definitely a buy. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you on future videos with uh, all types of RC product reviews. Until then, take care.